This unboxing is going to be different than my normal unboxings. And I'm sure you could tell by the quality of this video on the screen. But we're going to go ahead and talk about the SM7B. Now, be aware, I'm not an audio guy. I'm not an audio engineer. So this is coming from a guy who mainly does video. But it's not really an audio specialist. And I can only tell you what I think about it. So bear that in mind as I talk about this mic. So when I got this mic, I got this mic at a really weird awkward time i got this mic during the pandemic but i got it at a time when all my equipment and all my camera gear was breaking on me because it was just it was just getting old and it was right before i got my new camera so the reason why i got this mic was because i was planning on starting a podcast during the pandemic although they didn't really work out like i hoped they would they it worked out, but it didn't work out. And honestly, I rarely ever use this mic, but I will probably talk about that. But first I want to tell you about what I thought about the mic when I used it. Now be aware, I only use this mic a couple of times, but the few times I used it, it was really good. I really liked the audio quality. I like how my voice sounded to me. And again, I'm not a trained audio guy, so I don't really know what to listen for, but for me and just how it sounded to me, it sounded really, really good. And honestly, the reason why I got it was when I did my research, this was like the, the standard streaming podcast mic that everybody used. So I wound up getting this one. And the only thing I would say is the stand, like what I put on the stand is kind of like, sometimes it, it could be kind of awkward to kind of use. It's not really made to be comfortable in your hands. So if you're going to use it, you want to get a mic stand and just put on a mic stand and just point to you. So I only get mics new. I never get them used. And that's just because, you know, people speaking and stuff. I don't know who had it before me. And this one right here in particular, it's like my personal one. Full transparency, this is not the only mic that I bought. I actually bought another one. And it kind of sucks because if you look on the screen, you see how this is, you know, how this is kind of being handled on accident, but that one still works. But the other one, I think I only used that one only a couple of times. And I wound up taking that one out for a shoot. Well, not for a shoot, but I had a chance at the shoot to do interviews. And when I plugged it in, it didn't work. So luckily it was under warranty. So I was able to send it in. And when I got it back, they said, there was a couple of loose pieces in the mic, which kind of sucked. And it kind of does upset me because for the price that I bought it and to get it brand new and the fact that it basically didn't work, did make me angry. And luckily my warranty didn't run out because it was about to run out, but it broke just in time. And a few times I tested it, it had no issues. So it does kind of suck having to buy a mic at this price level and pieces wind up becoming loose in the mic where it stops working. So yeah, if it goes out again, I'm out of warranty, so I won't be able to get it repaired. And I actually looked at the price and other repairs and these mics are not cheap to repair. So be aware of that. I also want to address why I've only used this mic a couple of times, even though I've had it for years. And the thing is, is that it's not as convenient as my Blue Yeti Pro. So the thing about getting this mic to work you need an XLR cable, you need a cloud lifter, you need a sound card. You just need a couple of more things to get this working. You need, my fault, you need two XLR cables, by the way. You need two because you need one to go to the cloud lifter and then a cloud lifter to go to a XLR input. And with the blue mic I have, I have the option to plug it in with XLR or through USB. So even though to me, Mr. Untrained Ears, still feels like the SM7B does sound better than my Blue Yeti. At the end of the day, the Blue Yeti just has certain convenient features that just makes it better than the SM7B. Now, before I go, I wanna answer two last questions. First, do I recommend this one? When I bought it, yeah, because this was the live streaming podcast standard, but now I probably would say, no, because you could get a similar mic from the same brand at a cheaper price. And I probably would recommend you get that one over 
the SM7B if you're trying to live stream or do a podcast. Now, this is the last question I want to answer. Since I bought this mic and I get so little usage out of it, do I regret buying it? And honestly, the answer to that is at the time for what it was, I'm glad I got it. But over time, I probably shouldn't have, but I don't regret buying it because when I need it, it's there and I rather have it than not to have it at all. That's probably the best way to put it. So again, I don't regret buying it. Now, could I have used those funds in a better way? Yeah, but again, I don't regret it. I'm glad I got them. Even if I don't need them, I'm glad that they're here. That's the best way to put it. But anyways, I'm gonna get off of here. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe. And I don't know, but either next week or the week after, I will be coming out with another video. But either way, I wanna thank y'all for checking out the channel. I appreciate it. And we will be back either next week or the week after with another video. All right, have a good one.